fastest intro ever. I'm traveling right now, but here's Jury Duty episode five and six. We'll be back to normal stuff on my channel really soon. It's just my channel's blowing up from this Jury Duty stuff. And uh, hey, subscribe if you're new here. I do other cool, funny stuff too. You know, the, the show's really good, but I got, I got some stuff too. Eh, whatever, you just hang out if you want. I don't care. All right, enjoy. I woke up this morning with such a like specific headache. Little sick. So tall this man is. You want a banana? That would be probably good for you. I don't know. Should I eat a banana? Yeah, you should have a banana. Here, take mine. I'm really hoping we don't deliberate today. <laughs> what is hey! up? James There's Marston. the man of the hour. How's it going? James, I'm... I love seeing the first thing when I see you is asking you for favors. You know, it's my favorite thing to do. Right here. I told oh, you, dude. Shit. This, this is, is my favorite part. When you see Ronald throw their acting off, that's my favorite. Because now this, is, this isn't this script. This is Ronald brought a copy of Sex Drive, a movie that James Marsden in, and he has to roll with it. I love seeing that. That's more fun. Yeah, this is Ronald dictates so the show. Memories. Dude, I hope it does, man. Your performance in that... It's like, it couldn't exist. Like, you couldn't make that movie today. No, no way. Hell you'd no. get canceled. No, no, no. In <laughs> fact, it's like, hide this thing. What's the movie about? It's about a kid no, trying to, to lose it. his virginity. So he wants to take his older brother, him, read it his car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, read Ian it. has a decision to make. Stay home and stay a virgin or drive 800 miles to lose it with an online hottie. Decision made. I gotta check out this movie. Do you think that movie can get drive. made nowadays? No. No, no not at all. because he's right. driving for love sex. Love you love this, man. I'm like, I'm so proud of this. Oh, shit. You know what? Speaking of movies, Extreme I'd say, what? Would you mind helping me with something? We are just yeah. watching every, do this every audition. IP, I guess. Take like an hour, put myself on tape. Yeah. I just need somebody to read off camera. Yeah. Seriously? That's simple. Done deal. I, I have to I have to put myself on tape for this movie that I'm trying to like that was fucking great segue. Because that's part of the script, that he needs to do a read off off camera so now he's able to tie that in wow love seeing movie. it come together what's it called lone pine lone pine he's playing caleb you the mechanic yes yes, yes. Uh, yeah i i i uh i drank a bunch yesterday but not really on purpose and then i made a phone right, call no, I feel you. and uh i don't know i might have kind of messed up my life or something yo bro i've been thinking about it for like an hour or two mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that I that broke up with Harvey yesterday. Thanks. Oh, f Yeah. You remember in your conversation now? Yeah, it's yeah. a modern day Josh Mosh You know, basically. something they say is that uh, drunken words are sober thoughts. There's a little bit of truth in there, too. So that's why I was asking you, like, do you actually believe that she's telling you the truth? I don't know. I just feel like I made a mistake. I mean, you should definitely call her, for sure. And you can tell her what happened, too. Like, you literally got drunk on accident. All right, I'm just going to call her. That's a good idea. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Make sure you drink water, man. Classic Ronald W. How are you, Mr. Graves? I'm doing well, thank you. Great. So, the defense called the lifelong friend of Trevor Morris up there, the defendant. And what's the nature of your relationship with Trevor? We've been best friends for since seventh grade. So would you say it's safe to describe Trevor as reliable? Trevor's always been there, just whenever I need him. We feel for the guy, because I think you get dealt a bad hand sometimes. Good afternoon, Mr. Griggs. It's true, isn't it, sir, that you were once arrested for masturbating in a public movie theater? That's correct, isn't it? That's, yes, that's true. <laughs> that would be a rough first line if you were my friend defending me in court. We have the defendant's best friend publicly masturbated in a movie theater. That is a rough start. Which theater was it? Uh, it was the at the Grove. Don't say the it's Grove. near school. Don't say it's near school. And is the Grove a pornographic movie theater? No, it's not. No further questions. He like said that Trevor was a really nice guy, but then it came out later that he masturbated his penal off at the Grove. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Um, it's horrible. This show does keep reminding me that I did get jury duty and I really need to get out of that. <laughs> I got jury duty like last month and I haven't answered yet. Somewhere in here. <laughs> This is my jury duty I actually got that I haven't done yet. God, what's my due date on this? Oh, please don't be passed. But what what was the movie? Another time. It was um, Pacific Rim Uprising. Is that even like a very like masturbatory, that's not a word, a horny movie? Was it a Gunner TV video that you were watching? We know someone's did that. Yes. I've never seen that. It's what about it? like aliens coming up from the crust of the yeah. earth and they build giant robots to fight them. It's not sexy. I mean, to me, that, that just shoots a lot of his credibility out the window. Defense calls Belinda he Morris. shot a lot of his jizz. Please raise your right hand. In the theater. Trevor still lives with you, is that correct? Yeah. What would you describe your guys' uh, at-home relationship to be like? Well, 
Trevor doesn't always pay his share, what, but what you know he a... can't seem to hold down a job. Trevor's mother He's always testified, masturbating at work, and she was not so helpful to him. How many nights a week have you observed Trevor smoking marijuana? Probably most nights. Lost count. Earlier, you said that he lives with you and that that's fine, but I sense some trepidation in your voice. Yeah. Is it fine that he still lives with you? No. I guess I'm getting to the point where I feel like a change needs to happen. I'm my sick of having my court. house be a mess Wait, all the time, it. and I just hate living in it. I hate living in it. I'm sorry, Trevor. I think it's important to consider the cold facts of the case rather than a mother's tears or a friend's laughter or a, a friend's uh, point, masturbating. Todd. No further questions. It's heartbreaking, you know, she broke down on the stand. I feel for her. Ronald, Ronald. Could, could you help me please really quick? Could you come here? Hey, could, could you could you please just, just... Oh, don't put I know I'm telling you it's a misunderstanding I, and, and I don't remember everything exactly the way that it happened, but but I was with my, my buddy Ronald from, who's on the jury and, and yeah, he... Yeah, about three minutes. Okay, all right. Could you just please, could you just please talk to him? He's, he, he knows what happened. Please, God, please. Ronald has put up with so much in this show. Hey, Heidi, this is Ronald. What is going on? Hey, so uh, last night Noah got drunk on accident. It was pretty crazy. He was given the wrong drinks on accident. She wow. doesn't like that I wow. drink. You know what? No, no, no. You, you tell Noah that it's done. She's Whoa, not really? Formidable gamer? Oh. Gunner, heads up. There's a TOS sex scene later in this episode. In this acted what? In this show, there's a sex scene? <laughs> what? What did she say? <laughs> she said she was mad. I, I don't know, man. You should, uh, you should probably call her when you got Is more time. TOS, for sure. like, call her because like we're still in a relationship, naked? right? Ronald? Okay, the only show face Ron to Ronald. Is, okay, that's all right. She okay. was just cool. yelling, man. She's like, oh, Go so you guys, so she's like, so you, you guys just went on an outing where everybody got drunk. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. That was the plan, you know? So that's all I got for you. Yeah. <laughs> I hope no one. So, I mean, fuck. I feel bad he's taking it pretty hard, but I think that that's a perfect moment. Bro is tired of to talking like, to the third person. Oh, like, there's a shoulder you can cry on. And like, he might, you know, also do something else on my shoulder. Like, something else might come out of him onto my shoulder. I'm going to let him come on my shoulder. You're talking about Noah? Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the defense calls Trevor Morris to the stand. Trevor okay. Morris on the Mr. stand, Morris, baby. You want to approach and you'll be sworn. Make sure you have a rudder long enough Anyone for the boat. Can and right now, in, I get it. Trevor's on a boat with a long rudder and he's headed to Coral. Mr. Morris, <laughs> how many jobs have you been no, fired I... from in the past five years? <laughs> Three. And your mother testified that she's observed you drinking and, and smoking Thank you for pot out. almost every night of the week. Is that also correct? I was confused. In fact, the only character witness who had any good things to say about you at all is some dude who masturbates in public to robot movies. What's wrong that with that? With your record of wait, that's his own. That's his own lawyer that's going at him. Oh shit! What his is his own strategy? mom has kind of called him a dirtbag and doesn't want him in the house. Would you even hire you? Don't you think it would be kind of irresponsible for anybody to hire you to come them. and No, th that's enough. Stop. I Googled this, and this is called uh, this is called an ineffective assistance of counsel. Well, wait just a second. So whoa, I would like. Whoa, I, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Hold, sir, hold on. Sorry. That's a very Ooh. serious allegation. I'm very serious. Uh, hold on. I'm very. Hold on. I would like to meet with a defendant, and I'd like to meet with his counsel in my chambers. Counsel. I don't know what. I'm doing. It just feels like there was kind of like a misunderstanding and then the defendant had like a knee-jerk reaction and just like cut his lawyer loose like immediately. This is probably the like most unorthodox trial that, that I've presided over. Mr. Morris has chosen to hey represent himself. Hey Gunnar, what's up? Himself. First time stream, first time I caught the stream. Welcome Goose Chaser, thank you for joining. For the remainder of the trial. His counsel will remain as co-counsel, yeah, but he's going to yeah, finish his examination. He's going to do his own closing argument so with that good luck okay all right i will see how the video does when i post it but if this video does really really well this jury duty one if we could get an interview with ronald i'd be very grateful if it was possible probably finish the series first so we can see how it plays out absolutely I agree Let's see how the, I want to see how the first uh, video does on the channel, because that'll determine whether we go oh, a lot farther. Hey. Sorry about all the gear. It's just, you know, I want to make sure I, I get the right okay. coverage and stuff. What the hell did you bring me here for? Bring back memories, much. don't it? I know I said some awful things. Hurt will do that to you. You can actually kind of just slow that just a hair. Hurt will do that to you. And someday, I'm going to have to make my peace with God for all I've done.
God. Ronald's Don't helping right. everybody. It's really uncomfortable. <sighs> I miss her. I miss her so much. I do too, Caleb. But it ain't your fault. You're really good. I realized I for yeah, but I realized I didn't know what the story was about. I was like, is no, it his no, fault? Is it his fault? Caleb can I'm act say too. It, and then you repeat it. it all. It sounds silly, but just, it like literally it just helps just verbatim. The yeah. same thing. Yeah. Oh, I got wounds. Sometimes I feel like that's all I got. Oh, I got wounds. Sometimes I feel like that's all I've got. Who knows? You seen nice. Hey, Ronald. Damn it. I don't exist. <laughs> I can't see. Mid it. scene. That was a, it's all right. <laughs> What's up? Yo, dude. Can I talk to you about something? I got kind of a little situation going What's on. What's up, bud? I don't want to interrupt. I just got, I just got to talk to you for a second. I can't wait to yeah, touch you for a moment. Um, I got to take. You want to come in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you care if I take a leak? Uh, it's not a bad thing. I'm just kind of. I don't know. I just kind of need some some advice. Dude, everyone's going so, to Ronald. Last Ronald. night I was hanging out. Jeannie, and it was just us. She was comforting me about the Heidi thing, and I realized I didn't need comforting Sexy because- coming up? You did it, didn't you? No, 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 no. Ah, that's okay. that's, that's kind of what I'm really nervous about, man. Like, I feel like she's not gonna be like into a dude like me, you know what I mean? Cause I'm Jeannie? so like, yeah. You like, just gotta talk to her, dude. I, thanks, James. I mean, it's very apparent that Jeannie wants to hook up. And Jeannie has outright told me as well, too, that you are literally the type of guy that she's into. She said that she likes kind of like withdrawn, nerdy, kind of inexperienced, doesn't really know what's going on kind of guys, because she likes <laughs> okay, corrupting. Way to say it quite like, <laughs> Dude, help him out, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna read over this a little more anyway. Okay. Would you, would you come with me? Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah, be right back, James. No rush. <laughs> Take your time. I believe in you, man. Wait, how'd that just end off? Is he gonna talk to her? And Ronald's like, back up? Hey. Oh, shit. Jeannie, what's hey. up? Hey. I was starting to lay out, but it was too cold. It's definitely cold out. Uh, um, you okay? Uh, can, I talk, can I talk to you in just one one second, really? Ron uh, wanted to... No, don't blow it. He's trying to hang out with you, but he doesn't know how to ask. But he's running away. He doesn't know how to ask, he's nervous. What did he say? Ronald's is such a good guy, dude. Is What is she wearing? What is that? Noah, is that you? <laughs> I'm just, I'm looking for my shoes. Sorry, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just, uh. He's just playing it cool. Right, you should put some clothes on. Just no, to... I can do that. Just give me one sec. Just play it cool, man. Okay. Hey, is this better? Barely. Jeannie, would you, would you want to um, hang out? Yeah. Do you want to come in? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I got James Bars entertaining. You guys have fun. I feel like we're, like we're getting up to it. Come. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Bye, scared. Ronald. I'm scared, guys. Is this porn? Action. No, but there will be porn soon, apparently. What the hell do you bring me here for? To not Brings back memories, show. don't it? I know I said some awful things. You got wounds deeper than James Possum Marston, Creek right? Goalie. I got wounds. Yeah, maybe try and break that up into like, let her find it. Oh, I got wounds. Sometimes I. F I didn't like that. There ain't nothing down by the bridge, Doris. There's nothing for me anyway. I went. Sorry, give me the lead in line, yep. maybe. It's the key Come to on, all James, of you this. You got it. You Pull together. Go Pull yourself together. Caleb. You got a great you fucking. You gotta face oh, those. No, people. there's Script nothing for right me here. anywhere, Darcy. It's not the line. It's the key to all of this. Hang on, hang on. Okay. It's the key to all of this. You gotta go back there, Caleb. You gotta face those. No, there's people. nothing down by the bridge for me, Darcy. All right, there's nothing for me anywhere. It's all gone. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, sorry, guys. No, you're good. You're good. I didn't mean to interrupt anything. I'm gonna move myself over because I'm definitely blocking so much shit right now. We look at me. Woo! She wants to get um, comfortable. And uh, what does that mean? What's that? Like she definitely wants to. Yeah. I think that's where we're at in this one. Okay. I'm just trying to play cool. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get comfortable. I'm gonna get you. comfortable. Okay. Thank you guys. Last you got three to four minutes. Yeah, that was a good one. It's that coming. Was a good one. Oh boy. Where is God? The more you need something, the more it disappears. The more you need something, the more it disappears. The more you need something, the more it disappears. The more you need something, the more it disappears. Where is God? Huh? The whole know? script was confusing. Oh, really? It doesn't, yes. Your favorite you gotta go back there, Caleb. No. Me. You gotta face those demons. I'm all over the forums. Uh, I locked myself out. I'm gonna do one more take. Why you gotta bring that up? It's the key to all of this. No. You gotta go back there, Caleb. No, Doris. You gotta face those demons. No, there's nothing for me down there by that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Sorry, guys. I know you're doing acting. Um, Everything's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, I'm feeling kind of comfortable. I, I, okay. she definitely wants to, uh... She's definitely trying to sleep with you. Yeah, okay. Okay, I, I, I can't, we're not married, you know what I mean? So I, right. I, I, I have, I do have rules, you know what I mean? But, but Jeannie said that some guy she went to college with told her about this thing called soaking. Do you guys, do you know what that is? I can't in and out. To be like, honest, that's not, I don't that's, know that that's penetrative pre, premarital sex. Like, I don't know what soaking is. I'll be honest. I don't know what soaking is. That's something I've heard of like all the time. Like, you know, 
Oh, okay. It's a Latter Day Saints kind of thing, like not actually having sex. I get it. Okay, I get it. It's a little cheat code kind of thing. So what if like somebody, somebody was like just freeze and sit still? I stay still. Right. Somebody got to be else like, oh, that's chill. Jumps on the bed because then it's it's not me. Bed is just going up and down. I mean, that's 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 that's. So wait, so right. you'll park the car in the garage? <laughs> exactly. And then someone else will have to come in and jump on your bed. Whatever happens to the bed, it's like I can't, I can't really control that. God doesn't have to, you know, know know about that. I mean, God doesn't I'm have glad to know that you're making progress for sure. How can we help, sir? Yeah, short of me being the person jumping on the bed, so I'm not gonna do that for you, man. No. Oh, what the I'm hell, not. Ronald? If James wants to jump on the bed, I don't really want to. Would you? Would you do that? Well, well, uh, I'll make Ronald do that. If okay, really. Yeah, I mean, no way. way. Seriously? Okay. All right. Star cool. actor oh, of Sonic, quick, James Marsden, gonna help him out. So this is her idea. All right. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my god. Look. Good luck. Lord. <laughs> there have been so many just weird, <laughs> crazy things that have came up. <laughs> How does he get? Okay, wait, slow down. This okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is common. I don't know, but I feel like this is. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be that common because just crazy stuff keeps happening. You want smaller or bigger jumps? Uh, smaller jumps. Wait, bigger jumps. You wanted me no, to skip jumps, this. Jumps, please. <laughs> you wanted me to skip this scene. I love this. <laughs> this is a great scene. Oh my god, James Marsden jumping up and down on the bed. On the same page here. Okay. <laughs> James, you're really jumping. Jumps. <laughs> These are really big jumps, James. Super excited to see what Monday brings at this point. Is it get worse or is this okay? On the next episode of Jerry Oh my God. Okay. Who, what five year olds do we have in Chad? That's not a sex scene. That is actors who aren't having sex. They're just fucking around. Who said to skip that? That's crazy. All right, I'm going to move us back to the other side. I like being on the left side more. Ooh, look at me. Woo, shit. Whoa, stream's getting crazy on 420. Look at me, I can be anywhere. But I want to be over here. I mean, these are great people. Like Ross said, I've, I've, I would never hang out with a handful of these people. But having been forced to, it's, it's nice, you know? You just get to meet new people. Good morning. Hi, how, how are you? Doing? you? Did you have a good weekend? I did. Did you guys? Yeah, same old shit. Locked in a hotel, you know? Oh, we love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This could go on for a couple more weeks. I think we'd all, we're all going to buy some retirement property down here in Huntington Park. I think James Marsden is uh, doing... Uh, sarcasm, because I don't, I don't ha want to be here. Is anyone excited to be here? I mean, it's not that bad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Keep hanging out. I saw a clip when he's in that room, like later, he's like, this just feels like a reality TV show. <laughs> he just up and says it. He's like, it feels like I'm in a reality TV show right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it felt good, man. He Surprise. sounded great. It was great. But he doesn't Look say it. it as if like it's actually true. He's just like, this is so crazy. Yet, this could be a reality show. Let's just say I've heard some rumblings. <laughs> I just wish I could tell you guys more. I know you want to know. Come on through. Why did you do that? Uh, I just wanted to test the shoes. Look at him. The other night, Vanessa and I were talking to Todd. It's just kind of been our goal to get him to, you know, come out of his shell, learn a bit more about him. And we're talking about giving him a makeover, you know, getting him a new wardrobe, new shoes, just everything. They let us go to the mall. We had nothing else to do, and we said, well, let's give Todd a makeover. I love Todd. It. Todd, I like oh, this look. Before. Thank you. Well, Wait, do a turn. Sure, bitch. I want to see that. That means do a turn. Woo! Yeah. Woo! The thing that made me happy was that. Everything that I've been trying to do to instill some self-confidence into him, I mean, it clearly is working. Yeah, he didn't come to court to look good. Yeah, but you, looking good instills self-confidence. You got to be self-confident to stand up and say, hey, I think what you guys are saying is wrong. When we left off on Friday, it, it was uh, a little bit hectic. Mr. Morris has decided to represent himself. Oh, shit. Mr. Morris, are you ready to proceed? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, because his lawyer before started saying that he's he should Just be unhirable. Wherever you feel comfortable, sir. Okay. Uh, would you please uh, state your name for the record? Okay, he's kind of playing both sides of it. I get it. Uh, hi, Trevor Julian Morris. And then run back. <laughs> Thank you. And where do you currently reside? Uh, I live in uh, Van Nuys, California. Mr. And Morris. I like how Ronald's hearing him out. He's uh, like, all right, let's check. I'm, yeah, I'm representing myself, Your Honor. Yeah, but this isn't the movie Bananas. Just sit there 
and tell your story. I've never seen that movie. Well, in, in regards to the conditions at the factory, uh, I have here some photos which clearly show chemical barrels. In this case that is about not, him pissing Honor, all over I believe he's shirts. showing you things that were not in the evidence. I never received at. photographs and discovery from Mr. Sanders. Then, uh, I'm sorry, sir. They can't come into evidence. Besides that, what else would you like to present to the jury or discuss in front of the jury? I guess I have no, no further questions, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Then, do you have further witnesses or further evidence? No, no. If he's not prepared, that's literally his fault. Yeah. He has admitted to passing out at his station, but he hasn't told us why. He hasn't told us it was because he was getting lightheaded due to poor working conditions. I don't know why he wouldn't clear that up. Damn, man, I was uh, thinking he'd have more statements for us than just photos. You don't know what's going through his mind. You don't know if he's nervous. You don't know, you know, if... I don't, you don't know nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trial's coming to an end. How do you feel? It's oh, it's coming to an end already. Because oh, I've gotten to know these people. Uh, and these are great people. I'm really I'm starting to hit it off with Kim. He's coming out of his show. Yeah. He's hilarious, man. We have not had it a, it much out, of huh? a chance. I believe Ken's game is called You. It's a Korean board game. It's pretty fun. My mom and I, we only play for uh, like... Oh, the last two episodes come out tomorrow? Oh, I only got 20s, Ken. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you that's want. Okay. <laughs> just, right, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Just put let's it on... Do it. Just put it on the side. All right. Okay. This is you. Damn, Ken's gonna take all your money, bro. So why don't you start? All right. And normally, this is just a kid. But this is a kid plus one. Is it a real one. game? I've never seen this. Plus one, baby. We need Mac. You. Wait. wait. You. Wait. Oh, is it because it's not in the ring? No. Would you say this one is in the, in in the, the circle? In the circle? I mean, no, because, well, neither is this one technically, because it's yes. outside. Would you say this one is touching this one and the end circle? This guy, see, he's like on the edge of the um, circle. So I don't think it's in the circle, though. No. But it's uh, touching the line. Well, yeah, but it's not in the circle. Okay, I have never seen this. <laughs> he can't what happened? It, uh, was First, you win the game. I'm, I won the yes, game. Yes, you win just the like game. That. Why? What are, how? Because this is like a uh, royal flush. In the, poker. Why right? Why is this so good, though? Uh, it's, a, it's 100 times multiplying. Is this a 100 real game? 100 times? We played you for a little bit of money, and I was unlucky. I wish you you had uh, singles. So what, $2,000? No, 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 don't worry about okay. it. Don't worry about it. I, I, you are so, so Kim, kind. I'm not taking $20 from you, let alone $2,000. But I, I, am, I must pay you my debt. No. This Dude, is this all show could have gone such it's a different just... way if you had, like, a mean guy that they hired. <laughs> just, like, this exact bit goes the same way. And like, yeah, 2K. Yeah. Yeah, I just learned this game. Yeah, give me that fucking money. Absolutely. Mr. Morris. Just so you know, this is your final chance to tell your story to the jury. Are you ready to do that? All right. Um, Let's hear it. I don't, um, my co-counsel and I are not prepared to make a closing statement today. I knew this was going to happen. I actually called out specifically what was going to happen. Plaintiff was going to make a closing statement. Something crazy was going to happen. We adjourned for the day. Here we are. How are you that psychic? Because this happens every day, Barb. This, <laughs> there has not been a single day that we've had that's just been smooth. There's always something crazy that comes up. This is literally feels like reality TV. Oh. I have a few things. Hey. He's self-aware. Sorry to disturb this. Take him uh, out. James. Take him out. You got that call you were expecting? Oh. Can I take it here? Hello? I mean, at a certain point, yeah. The, the absurdities Jules? have to add up. Oh, that's great. Well, hang on, hang on. R real quick, real quick. Hang on. I mean, you're sitting next to James okay, wait, fucking Morrison right again. Now. I said that they, they loved you. They loved it. They, he got they, the part. They, were, they thought it was brilliant. That's so you great. did some amazing, amazing work. You should be really proud of yourself. Oh, right? man, it, it felt it felt good. Good, because it was grounded. It was effortless. Like, you, did, you didn't feel like you pushed it very, very... That's uh, huge. Right? That's outstanding. Okay. But they're going a different way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, honey, you're not gonna be in Lone Pine. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Well, Wait, are you, are you, just, you come on. Who set really someone up like that? No, you made good connections. These are the Who great connections. Who set someone up like wait, that? Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. You're on, you're on speaker. That's not how that call should go. <laughs> wait, so, say that again? Okay, yeah. Well, do you know that I could... Damn. That's awful. That sucks. So. I thought he did great, too. I commented when we were filming, I was like, dude, the gruffness in your voice is just right. I like, damn, she that sucks. Aw, oh, poor James. I feel bad. It'll be okay. Y'all had a good weekend, right? What y'all oh, do for Ross's birthday? <laughs>
<laughs> Ross's what? birthday? Ross, I know all y'all birthdays. Bucks, I know y'all though? didn't forget that man's birthday. <laughs> Can Not I being gay. Get the degeneracy of Jack go off to yeah, me and nice. admitting it. Yes. I'm going to ask if y'all can do something together. So we'll do cake? Wait, how are we going to pay for this, though? Ronald, you made two grand today. <laughs> <laughs> Which Chris? Don't say Chris Pine. Chris Pine and Low Pine? Kind of makes sense. Damn it! God Fuck, he gets every it! part. He gets every part. I'm sorry. I know that was your phone. Hey, Ty. How you doing? Good. You how are you? Good night, filing cabinet. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, okay, wait. Christopher Robin. Babe, back up. You're too close. The angle's not. Look exactly. The, like angle. the stun stream is next to you. this close. Just back up for the interview. Okay. All right. Jeannie, what are we doing today? Okay. Today, we are at the park. Um, we're setting up a birthday party for Ross. It's sport themed, like it's for a child. And our hotel got here first because it's a surprise. It's a pretty fun party. Oh my God. Come look at this cake. Is it sexy? Oh! Sports cake. Fire! It is insane. That is so f***ing cute. How come there's only one black baseball player on this cake? There's another black baseball player, so I'm gonna add that because Lonnie asked. So nice. It's all right, man. That part How was How are you feeling after, anyways. you know? I'm feeling like I don't really oh want it. Oh my God! What just happened? James. You think throwing me a pity party is gonna make me feel better? Bro, what are you doing? I don't James. want this. James. James. Let's all feel sorry for the guy from the notebook. He's not even the guy from the notebook. This Rejection isn't for you. Is this isn't for you. I'm really not sorry. Not a pity party. What are you talking about? It's Ross's birthday. It's Ross's I know birthday. Just, I know you didn't just smush this whole cake, dog. Who's Ross? I mean, who's Ross? Ross is the five. All guy on the jury. He's like doing? six seven. The How do you not know who Ross is? God damn it. So this isn't damn for it, me. James. You weren't doing this for me. No. He thought that we were <laughs> throwing a surprise <laughs> condolence party for him since he lost the role of Caleb, the everyman. Do you think he'll notice? Hey, y'all, here they come. Surprise! This is something that I didn't even expect. It just feels like we're really Freebies friends. And I know we're service. far away from loved ones right now. We Freebie. miss them. But um, I'm glad I'm with you, and I hope you guys feel that, too. We yeah. love you, Ross. I appreciate that. For we real. love you. For real. You, guys. you said loved ones. I had called your emergency contact. Your wife, Sonia. Yeah, I invited her. The judge said it's OK. okay. I don't know if she is. Hey, no. Oh, no, he's great, man. Excuse me, you keep it. Ross, Ross. Right, Ross's there wife is, is here. I don't know how she is. I don't, but they're going ladies. They're going in and She's crazy. crazy. This? What's going on? I, I thought she was taller and blonde and that she loved Ross. Picking Ross, what happened? Hmm? What happened? Like some wild shit's about oh, uh, she just uh, came by to tell me that she can make it. So. Ronald, I spoke with my mother yesterday and she agrees with me that I must pay you. Ken, don't shit. If I would have known that the multiplier was for the money, I would have never put twenty dollars down. So, yeah, so it was, it was a misunderstanding. So it doesn't count. Doesn't misunderstanding. Count. Doesn't count. Uh, and I feel like we're gearing up for you. something crazy. No, we can't know you will not. <sighs> Yeah, let me just start by saying I'm, here, I'm not guilty of this broken. crime. I thought I was the, gonna... It's a civil trial, so there's no guilt or innocence. There's liability or non-liability. Okay, I'm not liable uh, for this crime. Objection. Nice. Yeah. It's not a crime, so oh, I'm gonna no. sustain that. It wasn't caused by any choice that I made. It was, it was caused by fumes from chemicals Objection, Your Honor. Defense never presented any evidence of chemicals. That's gonna be sustained. There's a substance called bromine. Objection. Sustained. Oh, he's onto something. Okay. What if he um, flips it? Because the CDC says that survivors of serious poisoning caused by inhaling bromine may Objection. have long-term. Sustained. Ladies and gentlemen, you're to disregard any reference to chemicals or bromine. The bromine sounds so legit. Yeah. Um, sorry, what else do I have here? Uh, if I'm guilty, liable, sorry, of anything, it's, it's not living heart. up to my potential. There's a silver lining to being sued. I'm realizing that not only do I have to take on some more responsibility in my life, but I actually want to now. Uh, I, I want to be a responsible adult. Great. You know, I always said that a man should stand up and take ownership of their mistakes. And they can't prove that I caused the accident because I didn't. Shit. Please don't find me liable and uh, nice. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Morris. We heard Trevor Morris's closing argument and he was representing himself. He on, did a very good job and he uh, looks very professional and produced. handsome. Then Jacquees, when she Drunk heard his statement, she was like, oh, I actually want to talk. And then she talked some bullshit at us. 
I feel really for the defendant's story. He had a very hard life. I feel for that because I did too. From as early as I can remember, uh, people would taunt me. They'd call me Jackpot Jackie. Common I was here. bullied every day, multiple times a day, for being tall and thin. Jacqui was speaking Relatable. and I love her, but I hate her. I think she's a bitch, but she's beautiful. But everything she said, I relate to, but I don't. So I wanted to make my own path. <laughs> I wanted to make cinnamon and sparrow. <laughs> There was a lot of stuff said that didn't really have anything to do with anything. I know you feel bad for Mr. Morris, whose story has affected me as well. But what about me? What about her? Thank you. Oh. And that pretty much wraps up <laughs> the evidence and the arguments. So we're going to have deliberation starting tomorrow morning. And okay. you will be given the exhibits. The foreperson will preside over the deliberations and speak for you here in court. Your verdict, whether liable or not liable, must be unanimous. I'm just happy the whole thing's winding down, to be honest. I don't think deliberation's gonna take that long. I think it's pretty obvious. So we should all vote. Apparently. You don't get to vote, remember? I'd hate to disagree with Mars Bar over here, but I think we're gonna be deliberating for, for a while. You know, there's a lot of factors, uh, a lot of evidence to go through. Who knows how long this is gonna take? Now, I don't get the joke. Uh, how do you Mars Bar? I, uh, I, f I feel, um... Babe, how do you feel? Because what, he's bland? Is that the idea? Yeah, I feel, I feel anxious about it, mostly. Also, can I just point out to Vanessa that I may have to vote if something were to happen to one of you? Not impossible. Oh, yeah, James isn't actually on the jury. I forgot about that. That was actually a pretty uneventful episode. I feel like we're setting things up that are going to hit really hard on the next one, but I'm too tired to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. So I'm going to bed and I'm going to work and make good funny videos for you people. Friday night.